What is good, Greg Gang? We're here today, me and Abram. We actually have two rabbits right here, and we're going to attempt to catch, clean, and cook them. Now, as you can see, the catch part, that's already done. We've only got to clean them and cook them. So, Kendall, dude, what's the story with those? Why didn't you video the hunt? Well, to be honest, guys, I didn't even kill those rabbits. My cousin and uncle did, and then they gifted them to me for Christmas. But I tell you what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to put in some footage right here of a hunt last year that many people didn't see. That way, you'll get a good idea of what it takes to go and get those rabbits. Okay, I'm sending you over. Here it goes. I had no chance at that. It is way out there, but I figured I'd shoot anyways. Here it goes. He came this way. He dead. Woo! I'll go get him. He's no, he's it's dead. There's a rabbit. Let me find the person. I hit it, yeah. Oh dang it. I'm going to. Yeah! back from the rabbit hunt that's how we get rabbits we get dogs the dogs chase the rabbits around and then we as hunters we shoot them as they go by and that's how we get these guys now these here this is just a basic cottontail rabbit and i think they're a lot bigger than people think at least here in kentucky i don't know these may be called swamp rabbits because they get so much bigger than most places i don't know guys but we're actually going to be cooking one of the back legs and i will say you guys will be surprised at how big it actually is and we've got two of them so there's quite a lot of meat right here but before we go ahead and start skinning those rabbits go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're not already when you hit the subscribe button you become a gray gangster but as some of you gray gangsters know I done a rabbit catch and cook not too long ago. And you may be like, you know, dude, what are you doing it again for? You already done it. Well, with those last rabbits, I ended up frying them. This time, we're going to roast them over a fire. Just try something a little bit different. But anyways, guys, here we go. I'm going to show you how to skin a rabbit in about three seconds. I go away for 30 seconds, come back. Sheba had drugged my rabbit up there in the yard. Come on now, that's my rabbit. I'll give you the front legs or something. I don't know. But at least let me skin it first. Leave my rabbit alone. But anyways, guys, right now I'm going... Right. Sheba, give me my rabbit! Please leave me alone! Sheba, give me my rabbit! That's not yours! It's mine! Right now I'm going to show you how to skin a rabbit in about three seconds. So first thing you're going to do, get out your knife, and then uh, set it down, grab it on the back, and then rip it. Yeah, and that's about how you skin a rabbit in about three seconds. And uh, after that, you're done. But now that we got the skin off, everything's gone. Here's what we're going to do now. Since the, the rabbits, rabbits is a weird animal. Compared to their entire body, 
98% of the meat's right here on their back legs and the back straps. Their front legs, it's a little bit, but I believe I'm going to be nice and give it to Sheba since she already tried to steal my rabbit eight times today. But for the sake of this video, I'm only one person. I've actually already ate KFC today. I'm just going to go with one of the back legs. I'm going to save the other back leg and the rest of the back straps. I'm actually going to go put them in a freezer and eat them on a day that I'm actually hungry. Here you go, Sheba. You can have its foot. Yeah. Yeah, she wants the foot. Well, I'll tell you what, she can have it. Whatever floats or go. And now we are going to use the knife. I'm going to cut right around here, get off this back leg, and uh, then we'll get it ready, start the fire, and get it ready to start cooking. Okay, guys, so now I'm actually done, you know, skinning it up and everything. I got the meat quartered out, at least the leg. Right here is the leg we're going to be cooking. It basically looks exactly like a chicken leg. I'm not going to add any salt, any pepper. I may be messing up, but right now we're just going to do as basic as basic gets, just roast it over a fire. As you can see, I put some slits in it. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I'm just doing it because it looks cool. I mean, theoretically, I feel like it should make the meat cook better. But since we are going to be roasting that over a fire, now personally comes the hardest part making the fire now I'll be honest guys I'm not I'm not a fireman okay I'm not good at making fires at all but nevertheless we're going to attempt to make a fire bed right here it's already kind of a little divot so we're hoping that'll be a good thing and then I got to go get some kind of stick to skewer the uh, piece of rabbit and then cook it over the fire with so right now we have the base we have the hole we have the leaves which can be as a starter now let's go over here in the woods pick up some dead stuff and then we'll get on into starting the fire and cooking it somebody told me pine was good I don't know let's try it here's a pine tree I mean, this looks like a pine to me. How do I do it? Is that Does that count? Do I need to get better pieces? Seems kind of bendy to me. I don't know. Yeah, that may be good. We'll try this. I mean, it came off pretty easy. There's little pieces, good kindling, but we need... Possibly we need something better to, you know, longer lasting. Maybe that'll work. Here's one already broken off. We'll use it. Now that right there, guys, it's not a lot of firewood, but we're only, we only need fire for like, I don't know, half an hour or something. We just, just enough to cook the meat. Nothing special, just a little bit. Plus we got those leaves to help us get it started. So maybe this will do good. If not, I don't really know. We'll have to figure it out whenever we get that far. Okay, here we go. Here's the fire pit. Oh man, the leaves are soaking wet. That's not gonna work. I'm no pyromaniac, but I know that's not gonna work. Wet leaves aren't gonna burn. Let's clear out the fire pit. And then I got those, I'll just put some little pieces of wood in there. We'll just try to make a teepee, I don't know. The more surface area you have, the easier it's gonna burn. So the more breaks you can make, the easier, the better. Alrighty, here we go, moment of truth. I do have the lighter, but it's still not gonna be easy for me with the... Okay, here we go. I do have the lighter, but it's still not gonna be easy even with the lighter. It's a little windy today, so... You know, we're just going to try to start the best fire we can with what we got. In this case, we have a lighter, so we're going to use it. Not doing too good. Okay, I'm not good at this. Okay. <laughs> I think I got something going. I don't know if I have the wood burning or just the leaves, but I think we're about to figure out here in just a second. It's already starting to die down. Nope, nope. I think I got some wood burning. I definitely got some wood burning. Okay, now let me move the rest of this wood over top of it. That way, hopefully, it'll do that. Now we'll start adding little pieces of wood, like the, like the end of this pine. But I'm just going to do the best I can, just enough to where I can cook this rabbit. We don't need a massive fire. We're not trying to warm up a house or anything. I feel like it really shouldn't be this hard, but it sure is. Ah. Okay, okay. I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere. It's starting to burn pretty good now. Right in my face as well. Okay, sweet. I think we got a fire going. And there's not a lot of smoke, which means we're not wasting a lot of fuel. As in, you know, it's burning clean. Whenever there's a lot of smoke, that's unburnt fuel. So uh, with this right here, it looks like a pretty clean fire. There went a little bit of smoke. Probably some of those leaves. I'm going to go get a little bit more pine because it seems to be burning pretty well. And then after we get a little bit more fuel on it, a little bit more wood to where it can sustain itself for enough time for me to go out and find a skewer and start roasting it over the fire. Cause I'm just gonna say it's a raw piece of meat right now. It's gonna take some time to cook. Here we go, this should do pretty good. Pretty big pieces. If we can get these pieces right here burning, we should be good to go. Ah, it's hot. I guess it's a good thing, isn't it? It is a fire. It is what it's supposed to do. Okay, guys, I don't know. I mean, I kind of got a steady fire. I got a lot of new fresh wood on it, so whenever the fire does pick up, we should have it going for a little while at least. I'm going to go up here, and I'm just going to try to find me a stick to start skewering it on. As for the stick, I want something pretty lively. That way it doesn't burn and actually start catching on fire. And so I think this one right here will do pretty good. I'm just going to stick the rabbit right up in here. There we go. Get a little bit sharp edge. Well, we'll go ahead and cut it down at the bottom first. There we go. 
Now just come down here, sharpen it a little bit, get it perfect for the rabbit. I'm gonna be completely honest, guys. This is absolutely the hardest thing I have done all year. Not even catching and cooking the rabbit, it's just keeping a fire going. That stuff's hard, man. And so there we got the little thing. I'm gonna go get the piece of meat, wherever it is. I mean, here we go, guys. It's the best I can. It's not perfect. Now let's uh, hold it over the fire. I guess that's the best we're going to get to do. It did indeed take long enough to finally figure out what I'm doing. I don't know if I just hold it higher above, get more of the heat action, hold it closer in, get it burnt. I don't know how I want it. Crispy? I don't know. It's already starting to cook. Dang, man. That didn't take long to get that far. I mean, I'm about 100% positive it's not done, though. I know for a fact it's not done. We want it to be really hot, really nice, really crispy before I even take a hunk out of it. Because I know there's a lot of things living in that meat that just by it turning brown, that's not going to kill all the stuff in it. The parasites, I guess. Never really roasted any meat over a fire besides a hot dog before. Okay, guys, that's what we got. I just stuck the stick in there. What I can definitely tell for sure is that my, my I, I'm running out of I'm running out of wood, guys. I gotta go get some more wood. So looking at it now, I seem to have you know refueled the fire, but right as of now, all I'm doing is really just sending up smoke signals. Not much is happening firewise. I'm just you know getting choked out every 20 seconds when the wind changes direction. As for the meat itself, it has came off the skewer in one of the two spots. I don't really know what to do with it, guys. I'm not a chef. I'm just an outdoor vlogger trying to cook some rabbit. I mean, I don't I don't know how it's going. I'll be honest, decent looking fire, but I don't know it. I just hate to say it, but I don't think my fire's gonna last very long at all. We'll add a little bit more to it. Add some right there, try to spice it up a little bit. I'm gonna come up top, sprinkle some pixie dust on it, make it taste better, I don't know. I really gotta keep an eye on my meat, make sure it doesn't fall in the fire, cause you know, once it's down there dipped in ashes, I don't think it'll taste that well. I believe what I'm gonna do is, uh, well, I don't know guys, that's a tough call. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I definitely need to cook it some more, it's still pink. I'd like to flip it, but I can't. It's not even on the stick anymore. Oh yeah, something's cooking now. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a good cooking or a bad cooking, but something's a cooking now. It's boiling now. I'll tell you what, guys, I should probably get it off the stick because it is about to fall in the fire, no doubt at all. No doubt in my mind it's about to fall in the fire. Yeah, it's about to fall. I'm going to get to get it. All right, I don't know. Let's go check it out. Let's see if it's ready. It's definitely not ready. Let's readjust it on the stick and we'll cook it a little bit longer. And that's about it for the fire. We readjusted it a little bit, cooked it a little bit on that other side. Ugh. Tell you what, whenever they serve chicken on a stick... That ain't what it looks like. How appetizing does that look? Man, I don't I don't even know. I, I, I don't even I don't even know. I mean we'll spin it around a little bit. I'm not even gonna eat the bottom I'm, where it's touching the table. I'm gonna try to stay as live as long as I can. I believe whenever I do start eating it, I'm gonna go for that piece that's burned a little bit. Actually, I think this piece is. Yeah, this little piece is cooked long enough. Now let me eat it and see what it tastes like. Hey, it has a strong tint of ash to it. Very, very strong tint of ash. Kind of chewy. Tastes like a rabbit. Tastes like a little bit like the last rabbit. And here I'm gonna swallow it. All right, well, I ate some rabbit. I don't know how much more I'm gonna get to eat of that, guys. I mean, I never really got it done cooking. Man, I tell you what, I need to learn how to make a fire. I, don't, I just can't do it, guys. I don't know if I'm using the wrong wood, using the wrong size of wood, not putting enough wood. I don't know, but I tell you, I'm not doing something wrong. It just burns so fast. Imagine if I had to do that with like a bow drill or something. I would die. Now I'm in here, I got all kinds of wood, all dry wood, about as dry as it gets. Let's try this. I mean... That kind of looks like pine. I'm not sure. It looks like some kind of real wood. Uh, yeah. Let's take this down there and see what we can do with it. I don't know. This is a bigger piece of wood. I couldn't really get this in nature without an axe. So let's go try this and see how good it burns. See if it burns any differently. You guys, you probably already know. Y'all are probably fire expert, boy scout kind of stuff. But let me tell you, I'm not. I'll tell you what, guys. It's time to go full Daniel Boone. Here we go. All or nothing, boys. All or nothing. All right, well, there's a fire. Now I'm gonna use my knife, chip off a piece of this really good wood, and just lay it on there piece by piece until we can get a pretty steady fire going. Okay, there's a little bit more firewood. Here we go, let's just keep on going. This is life or death, guys. This is stinking life or death right now. I need an ax for this. I really shouldn't be doing this with my knife, but man, dude, we're in a survival situation. This is all I got. In a survival situation. Oh, there we go. There's the white smoke again. White smoke, I surrender. The 
The white smoke's weird because you can blow on it and it starts flaming again. Let's add that piece. Let's just add that entire piece right there. See how it does. We're learning. We're learning, boys. We're learning right now. We may not have been able to eat that rabbit. I mean, I did a little bit, but... We're st we're at least we're gonna learn something. We're gonna learn how to make a fire. See right there, it's smoking. We don't have any flame. Let's blow on it, see what happens. Give it some oxygen. And then, there we got fire. What happens when you blow on it, you're, you're providing oxygen that it needs. When you have fire, what do you need? You need fuel, which is the wood, oxygen, and then something else I don't really know. But I know you need oxygen, and that's what you do whenever you blow on it. You give it oxygen. So now we got that little fire going. Let's keep on chopping this wood. Come on, man, I need some, I need some fuel. I'm destroying this knife. I'm sorry to the fan that sent this in. I love the knife, but we're using it today in the survival situation. I need an axe, but I don't have one right now. I don't know what's up with the wind, but it just keeps shifts directions. Puts that old white smoke right into my face and eyes, and it just kills me. There we started the fire real nice with blowing on it. Another thing that you're actually doing with blowing on it is blowing the white smoke and the smoke out of the way so that more oxygen can get in as well. Here's a time lapse of the fire we built. Okay guys, I'm sorry, I can't build a fire. Let's go look at this rabbit one more time and let's see if it's even edible. Let's cut it up and see what the inside actually does look like. Let's get my knife right here and cut into it and see what the actual meat look like. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look any better on the inside. Sorry, Kendall, but your meat is trash. Maybe if you wanted your rabbit rare. Ow, that didn't feel good, did it? Maybe if you wanted your rabbit rare, it would be good, but, you know. Still red. Still red on the inside. Still red on the inside. That piece right there is about the best looking piece, and it's burnt. Even right here, still red in there. Still pink, red, and pink. We got crispy on the edges, but guys, I don't know. I'm, I don't know about this. I mean, even in a survival situation, I don't know if this would be safe to eat. You may be hurting yourself more than you're helping. Well, I guess you can just deem this catch and cook as a failure. Honestly, guys, if you're part of the channel, you'll realize that about nine out of every 10 catch and cooks are a failure, but you gotta take into account that one out of 10 success or at least it's edible it still may not taste good thank you so much for watching kendall gray's video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and shop at kendall gray slash shop 